Okay, hey guys! So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, a little bitty favorites video, okay? It's been so long, I've missed doing favorites videos. This was one of the first videos I thought of doing when I was like my return back to YouTube, my attempt to return back. Um, but the past two months have been really hectic for the beginning of the year. It's a lot been going on, okay? So I'm um, just trying to get my, getting my feet wet again, sticking my feet back into the pond. Just the tippy toe. I just got back from vacation. Um, the winter is still brutal and dry and hectic. So I figured I might as well show you guys what I've been using in the past couple months um, to get me through this hectic dry winter and also to help me travel because we know I like to keep my skin nice when I travel, okay? So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've been using to keep my skin in tippy toppy shape. Not only am I gonna be talking about my skincare for my face, but I'm gonna be talking about my skincare for my body as well. So this will be like a, just how to keep your body right and tight in the winter time, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in random order. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. Um, so if you guys don't know, I think a couple skincare videos back, I talked about a store called Skin Store and this is where you can buy pretty much anything, beauty and uh, it's mostly like skincare and makeup brands. Pretty much anything that you can find at your local beauty store. Um, they do have different like coupon codes and things like that, so I'll have, a link in the description box to skin store and I'll also have like some deals for you guys. I'll put those deals down below as well as the link and a code for you guys. Um, so you guys can go ahead and check out skin store. But I mentioned that that's where I got my Sunday Riley Good Jeans and I do love her, okay? Um, this is a brand new one because I have bought this maybe four times now and I needed another bottle, I was completely out and I had not been using this for a while. But I do miss how this works on my skin. I've been using a couple other different products that I've been trying out. Um, I tried out the Estee Lauder, I tried out the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro. I've been using the TLC by Drunk Elephant. I always use that one. I'm almost out of it. And then I was like, okay, should I get another Drunk Elephant or should I go back to my Sunday Riley? And then I was thinking, you know what? I might as well go back to Sunday Riley, sis. That's the one you love the most. And I feel like this is the one that really works for me the best. I feel like it works the fastest and my skin looks the best when I'm using this product. Um, this is a lactic acid treatment. It basically works well for exfoliating the face without using harsh uh, abrasiveness or harsh chemicals. Um, it works really, really well to resurface the skin. So if you have a lot of texture or dark spots, this is gonna be your go-to. And she's just amazing. I just love this stuff so much that I had to get it again, okay? I cannot stop, okay? I'm a mad woman. Something else that I got from the Skin store is Soap and Glory. Uh, my good old favorite, Old Faithful, the Vitamin C Face Wash. Like I said before in previous videos, I typically do not really care what kind of face wash I use. Um, I'm not really picky about them. I feel like if it cleans my face, it cleans my face. Um, some of the things that I've noticed really help with cleansing in general is just to one, remove your makeup before you start washing your face. And two, to either wash your face twice or do the 60 second rule where you wash your face for a complete 60 seconds. So those things really help. Um, typically, like I said, a face wash doesn't really make or break my whole skincare routine. Other than the vitamin C face wash that I love so much that I got from Skin Store, um, I've used up a complete bottle of this Soy Face Cleanser by Fresh. Um, I've had this for a good, I don't know, four or five months and I used it all up. Very, very gentle, doesn't hurt your skin at all. Um, at, at one point my skin was really, really dry and it hurt. Like it kind of like was in pain because it was very dry. Um, and this was pretty much the only face wash I could use that wouldn't burn around my eyes and things like that. So, but it is completely empty. There's nothing in here, okay? So I use this all up. So um, another face wash that I've been using is the Blueberry Bounce and this is by Glow Recipe. I've had this one since, I want to say like September or October. It's really, really good for just all around good cleanse. Um, it is a very strong blueberry scent. So if you don't like the smell of blueberries, you won't like this. 
but I love it. I think it works really well. Um, it gets it deep cleans. I can feel it deep cleaning. It leaves my skin squeaky clean. So I typically have a face wash in the shower and it's in a face wash outside of it just because I like to have more than one face wash sitting around. I don't know why. I'm, I'm a junkie, okay? This is what I do. Uh, this one I got in a PR package. Not even really sure where to get this, but this is called Crave. And this is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser and it has matcha in it as well as hemp seeds and oats, almonds, vitamin B5 and sodium PCA. But it basically just keeps your skin nice and moisturized while you're washing your face. And that's one of the things that I really, 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 really strongly recommend is getting a cleanser that is not gonna strip all the oils out of your skin, especially in the winter time if you have drier skin in the winter. So stuff like this really helped me um, to get through this winter because I did not like that dry, itchy feeling on my face. Okay, so next, also from the skin store, I got me a new slip. Silk, real silk, is great for your skin and your hair. Just keeping your skin from, and your hair from damage, basically. So it keeps your hair from breaking off, um, but it also keeps your skin nice as well. One thing that I've noticed is that while sleeping with silk pillowcases, um, my face has been enhanced in its softness. Um, sleeping on rough cotton typically isn't good for your skin. It's just not. Over time, you need to prevent those wrinkles and bacteria spreading and things like that. And I feel like this silk works a lot better. I The first thing that I ever tried from Slip was the sleeping mask, but I got mascara all over it. But I got another one in a darker color because number one, I wanted to match my bed sheets, And I got it in this charcoal gray color. I can't wait to use this. But since I was like, you know, browsing around skin store, let me try this pillowcase. So this is actually my first time trying the pillowcase. Now I know these items are not cheap, okay? Um, the silk pillowcase alone is like 80 bucks, but it's real silk. And I've noticed that um, some of these silk satin pillowcases are not really real silk or satin. They're like fake silk and satin and it's not really good quality because I'm your bougie auntie and this is what I do. Um, I'm going to try out the pillowcase and let y'all know if it is worth the money. And I also plan on taking this with me when I travel out of town too. So it'll be one of those things that is just like, you know, these are the things that I do when I travel to keep my sanity. Okay. Um, like my face, I do need to exfoliate. That's why I use the, the good jeans, right? But I also need to exfoliate on my body because I, number one, I get waxed. Number two, I like to be silky smooth. Exfoliation is key. It's key to all things. It's how you keep your skin from getting those nasty little hair bumps after you get waxed. It also keeps your skin from just looking less ashy. Uh, we don't need the ash. No matter what time it is, don't be an ashist. If I catch you out here with ashy knees, I'm fighting you. I know my African queens that follow me are gonna slap me in the face for not knowing about this. I learned about this from Natural Nisi. Um, I saw one of her videos, one of her body care videos, and she talked about how she used this to exfoliate her body. For the longest, I could not stand wash rags, like rags, towels, hand towels. I, I hate them. I could not stand the smell of them after they've been wet for too long. I just don't like, I don't like towels. I don't like using a towel to wash my body. I've never liked using a towel. I was always a loofah girl. I don't know, I just wasn't a fan of loofahs in general. Um, and I just felt like they never really did the dirty work that I wanted them to do. It is basically a net, okay? It's a long net and all I do is I put my body wash on there, I ball it up, put my body wash on there and I just wash my body with it. I pull it open when I wanna wash my back. So you can, you know, get your back, you can scrub your back and stuff. What I really like about this is it exfoliates like nobody's business. It is the best exfoliator I've ever used. Um, and I have not stopped using this since I bought it. I've been using it for about six months now. Um, I haven't really had to use a body scrub since then. And my skin is smooth like a baby's bottom, okay? like. I have really smooth skin now and it's all thanks to that scrubby thing. I got this from Love Scrub. I'm not sure if there are uh, stores where you can buy this in person. I don't know why I didn't know about this before. Somebody should have told me. All these videos that I made about exfoliating your hoo-ha and you know, waxing and all that and y'all didn't tell me about this exfoliate net. My body wash that I use, I am obsessed with Lush. I love Lush. Um, I know they're not the cheapest, but it's vegan and I feel like 
I've been trying to move over to the vegan world as far as body products and skincare products go. Not all of my products are vegan, um, but slowly but surely I'm making my way to vegan land when it comes to body products, mainly because I know I have sensitive skin on my body. I'm prone to breakouts and I'm prone to hair bumps and things of that nature because I do get waxed. And so my nether regions tend to be a little bit more sensitive obviously because I get them waxed so I try to make sure that I'm number one exfoliating but number two I want to make sure that my skin's not dry and irritated so I like Lush for that reason because a lot of their products are very hydrating because they are vegan and they're not stripping your body of any of its natural moisture went into Lush one day and I asked them what is the most moisturizing body wash that you own so she said that I should try it's raining men is honey that's literally all it is it's honey it smells like honey it feels like honey it pours out like honey um so it's basically honey like the number one ingredient in it is honey as you can see i put a lot of stress on this bottle by the by the stretch marks this is how much i've used so far and i bought this bottle about a month ago so it's gonna last me a good while now this was a 33 dollar bottle but I did try the little bottle first before I actually went ahead and purchased this, so I know I really like it, but it is my favorite body wash thus far. And then after I get out of the shower and I've washed my body and things like that, obviously I don't have to use a scrub because I use my scrubby thing with this, so I don't have to use a scrub. Um, but I do like to um, moisturize my body very heavily. I am a butter fiend, I'm a body butter fiend. My favorite body butter at the moment is Therapy massage bar um, by Lush. I'm currently out of it because I broke it. If I don't use a massage bar and I'm being lazy, I typically just go for shea butter, all natural shea butter. Um, this is one from Whole Foods, but you can pretty much get um, all natural, raw, unscented shea butter from pretty much anywhere. Shea butter is great for not only your body, but I do use it on my scalp sometimes. If I don't use shea butter, because shea butter does have me smelling like nutty when I go to bed and I don't like to smell nutty. So I do use a Shea Butter Lotion. This is Shea Moisture's uh, Sama Melon Oil and Shea Butter Rough Skin Body Lotion. It's got probiotics in it. I bought this a while ago and I just use this if I don't use raw Shea Butter. I'm gonna get back into the skin. I have all my skincare here. It's not unpacked, I'm still packed from vacation, so don't judge me. Another product that I really like to use for dark spots and just resurfacing and all of that is the Drunk Elephant Retinol, Retinol Cream. And this is new to the Drunk Elephant family, but I absolutely love this. But this is probably one of my favorite products that they have. Uh, it's a retinol cream and it's it's got 1% retinol in it, but the retinol in it is vegan retinol. So it's not going to, it's not too harsh to where it's going to tear your face up like a normal retinol would. When I first started using it, I did peel just a tiny bit. I did experience a little bit of peeling around my mouth, but I also was using this in conjunction with my glycolic acid and I was using it every single day, which was not a good idea. It says on the box to make sure that you only use it every other night or twice a week or three times a week at first. Don't start off using this every single day because you will experience peeling and sensitivity. And so yeah, you definitely don't want to overuse this at first, but it is a very good product and it's like the only retinol you can use in conjunction with glycolic acid peels and things like that. So if you are using a glycolic acid and you wanted to try this, you can, it's not gonna harm your skin, just don't use them at the same time and don't use it every single day. So if you're wondering why I always look like I'm 12, I still look like I'm 12 even though I'm 27, and you're wondering why my skin looks baby, baby, smooth, baby soft, or whatever, even though I do have dark spots and things of that nature, my skin is, the, the texture of my skin and the like, I don't know, the glowy shininess, I wanna say that's coming from this because I've been using this for about two months now and that's and my skin has been just bright and happy. Now, just keep in mind that I took this bag on the plane with me. So some of this stuff I'll mention is stuff that I used on the plane while I was traveling. Essences, anything that's moisturizing has been super key for me. I can get dry, even though I'm oily, I do experience dryness. One of the main products that I really, really love for hydration purposes is the Laneige Water Bank Essence. This I've been trying for a little while now. I've been thinking, I think about two, three months. 
Um, so when I was transitioning from fall to winter, I definitely had to step up my hydration game. This was one of the first products I picked up. Um, I also picked up the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So I've been using both of these for the past couple months now and I like them a lot. This one feels really good on the skin. It's very hydrating and it has like a cooling sensation. It just, I love this um, and I take it with me every time I fly because I know that it's gonna give me that intense deep hydration that I need. Every night I wear this lip mask while I'm sleeping. This is how much I've used halfway through it and I've had it for a couple months now so that's pretty good. But it's a really good lip mask. I know a lot of people said that it was overrated like they felt like it didn't really do anything. I feel like it helps my lips but I don't know maybe my lips just bigger than yours and I needed the extraness. I don't know girl. I got some big soup coolers okay. I don't, I don't really need to be out here with crusty lips. I do like to do a mask every now and again. My current favorite is the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask by Glow Recipe. First of all, Glow Recipe got some bomb products, okay? I love Glow Recipe. I've really grown to love them. I believe it's a Korean brand. The Koreans obviously have a one up on us with skincare. I saw this Korean lady in Singapore. Y'all, when I tell you, her skin was glass. It was so sparkly. I've never seen anybody's skin look that sparkly in my life. Teach me your way, sis. So I feel like if I just keep using Glow Recipe products, maybe it'll give me that shine. But I love this Avocado Melt Mask. Um, it's very, very hydrating. So when I put it on, it goes on pretty much clear and I don't have to worry about it showing up and looking, making me look weird. I just look a little bit shiny um, when I'm on the plane, but I don't look completely ridiculous so that I can at least walk around and not scare people. I don't know, maybe every five or six hours I would touch up with this. I love the Caudalie, um, this is the grape water, Caudalie grape water. Um, you cut off, sis. I hope it didn't cut off me talking about this. But yes, this is the perfect night cream. It just smells so good. I love the smell of it. Gives me a nice pineapple-y, mango-y smell. I don't know, it just smells really good. I didn't expect it to smell like this when I opened it up, but it really gave me all the feels. So yes, the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve, A1. I've tried so many face creams for daytime. Um, and I've tried so many SPFs, but I really have to say that this is the best one. I legitimately love this. This is the Super Screen Daily Moisturizer SPF 40. It's the most hydrating moisturizer with SPF that I've ever tried. And I think that's one of the things that I really like about it is that I don't have to put on a moisturizer and an SPF. I don't have to layer products in order to get the effect that I need. The main reason why I go so hard with sunscreen is because I do use heavy duty products like the retinol and the good genes that make my skin more sensitive to the sun. And so if I'm trying to get rid of dark spots, um, the sun is only going to make them worse if I go outside and I have something like this on my skin. Um, I do love these Peace Out Acne Dots. These are acne healing dots. They're literally just little acne stickers and they're invisible. So you put them on your skin and they cover up your little acne spots. What I really like about these is that I don't like to have opened wounds when I'm going to sleep, especially if I popped it. And even though you squeeze all the blood out, it does puss up a little bit. So you wanna make sure that you keep it covered. This is basically like a Band-Aid for acne. Um, they are $20 a pop, but I bought this maybe three times. I like them a lot because I feel like I don't like my pimples to just be out in the open when I'm going to bed. So, um, that's it, I think. Did I talk about everything? Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm back, so give me ideas of videos that you wanna see me do, and I'll consider them. I'll, put, I'll take them into consideration. Bear with me as I'm going through this transitional period in my life. Uh, but thank you guys for sticking around anyway. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions about anything that I talked about in the video, it'll be in the description box. Um, oh, also these glasses are high key. They're the new high keys by Desi Perkins. Um, and they are the blue light version. So they're not sunglasses, they are blue light glasses. And I use them when I'm working because I do expose my eyes to blue light all day, every day. So they just keep my eyes protected from my phone and my computer screen and things like that. And then my necklace is from the M Jewelers. My rings are from Vibe Season, or no, yeah, Vibe Season and Bobble Bar. And this top is from Zara. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, all right?